after a criminal stuffed an illegally modified rifle into his pants and headed into a local restaurant, he soon realized that he'd be leaving with something other than his meal. Ironically, gun control activists run their campaign as if they truly believe that outlawing firearms will stop criminals from obtaining and using such weapons. What they fail to understand is that criminals don't follow the law, as is evident by their name alone. Naturally, the only thing that could make these gun-free zones even more dangerous is if the same activists welcomed in thousands of outsiders who are potentially violent. Of course, this is already playing out in dark fashion as the political left continues to leave the door open for mass Muslim migration. Disturbingly, Canada has become the perfect petri dish for a cultural takeover, thanks to the country's disarming of law-abiding citizens and support of mass migration from Muslim-majority nations. As such, Islamic jihadists are free to perpetuate their terrorist ideology without the concern that citizens may defend themselves. However, for every Muslim militant who successfully carries out the violent commands of the Quran, there is always a failed jihadist who is more of a danger to himself than the infidels he hopes to destroy. On September 3, the Toronto police were called to a restaurant in Scarborough concerning a terrifying incident with an armed suspect. According to the Toronto Sun, 20-year-old Abdi Hakim Saeed walked into the unidentified restaurant to order takeout but instead fled the scene when the defaced sawed-off rifle concealed in his pants discharged, shooting him in the leg. Authorities confirmed that Saeed entered the eatery with a loaded A and B arms arrow survival sawed-off rifle stuffed into his pants. The man then ordered a meal to go but reportedly never got to enjoy his food as the firearm accidentally discharged, wounding him in the process. While inside the restaurant, the man accidentally shot himself with a gun he had hidden in his pants, D.E.T. Jeremy Hayes, of 43 Division, said in a statement released Thursday. Realizing that he would be arrested for possession of the illegal firearm, Saeed hobbled out of the restaurant and fearfully fled the scene in his vehicle. However, his bad luck didn't end there. As Saeed was speeding away, possibly unable to properly maneuver his car due to the pain from his wound, he crashed into another driver, subsequently leaving that crime scene as well. He continued driving and was involved in a fail-to-remain collision near Brim Orton Drive and Scarborough Golf Club Road, Hayes said, explaining the man abandoned the vehicle and fled on foot. CTV News reports that Saeed discarded the illegal firearm, hoping the police wouldn't be able to tie it to him in the event that he was caught. Unfortunately for him, a local police dog tracked down the rifle while police discovered Saeed nursing his wound in a house near the area he abandoned his vehicle. Saeed has since been arrested and charged with eight counts, six of which are gun-related and two pertaining to the hit and run. Abdi Hakim Saeed, of Toronto, is charged with unauthorized possession of a firearm, possession of a firearm knowing its possession is not authorized, possession of a loaded firearm, possession of firearm in a motor vehicle, possession of a firearm knowing its serial number has been defaced, dangerous operation of a motor vehicle, failure to remain at the scene of an accident and careless use of a firearm. Lucky for Saeed, the self-inflicted injury to his leg isn't life-threatening. However, despite already suffering from a particularly painful gunshot wound, his consequences are far from over. The disturbing yet strangely amusing series of events paints an ironic picture of the backward nature of gun control. Not only did Canada's tight gun restrictions fail to keep a firearm out of the hands of a dangerous criminal, it showcases the need for law-abiding citizens to properly train and arm themselves. If there's one thing we can get out of this situation, it's that perhaps nothing is more dangerous than a competent good guy with a gun except an incompetent bad guy with a gun.